So we've just released the results of our global systems for intellectual property uh, at the World Intellectual Property Organization in for nine, 2016. Uh, so the first of those is the Patent Cooperation Treaty, which is really the international patent filing system. Uh, we received some 233,000 uh, international patent applications. So I'd say in this area, as well as in the trademark area, uh, the trends to which we could draw attention are, first of all, that uh, this area is performing much better than the world economy. So we have consistent reports of rather sluggish performance from the world economy, disappointing performance, but here we had 7% uh, growth for international patent applications, 7% growth for international trademark applications, and some 35% growth for international design applications. So. Uh, this is a small measure, if you like, of the, uh, the fact that the technology-based economy, the knowledge-based economy, is, uh, in general, still performing quite well. Uh, the other thing to say about the results is uh, the quite exceptional performance of China. So the number of international patent applications filed from China grew by 44%. Uh, and that is an extraordinary growth rate. So we now have the United States as the principal source of filings, uh, followed by Japan, followed very uh, closely by uh, China, and then you go to Germany. Uh, so the Chinese performance continues to be, as in previous years, quite exceptional. And more generally, one could say that it's interesting that uh, in the course of the last 10 years, from 2006 to 2016, the number of uh, the rather the composition of international patent applications uh, is such that from Asia it accounted in 2006 for 27 percent, 2016 it accounted for 47 percent. So this is a very uh, dramatic trend, really. Of course, China is a big part of it, but not the only part. It's also Japan, uh, the Republic of Korea, amongst others.